What is going on everyone? My name is Andy. Welcome back to another FPL video. It's team selection time ahead of game week 19. At least I hope you're going to get to see this video. This is the third time I've recorded this video in full. I recorded it, it went live. Then we had the whole free hit saga. So I made a video about that instead. I then recorded another version of this for today. And then a couple of hours before it's due to go live, we find out that Watford and Wolves is off. I'm thinking, okay, that doesn't matter a huge amount in the grand scheme of things. And then literally like 30 seconds later, Liverpool versus Leeds also gets called off on Boxing Day as well, which is obviously massive, right? For a few different reasons, which I'm going to explain in this video. One, we all pretty much own triple Liverpool, but there's also double game weeks and stuff like that to think about as well. Free hit this week now might be an option so i'm going to go through my team for last week as if anyone cares anymore in just a second just for a few minutes just to see how i did where i'm at right now and then we'll look ahead to next week potential free hit teams kind of instant reaction type thing because this news is quite new right before this video goes live so fingers crossed you get to see this one if you enjoy it give it a like hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's jump into it all right so amid all the chaos of game week 18 there's loads more chaos to come we'll come on to that in a minute I actually did pretty well, 65 points. I almost brought Watkins in. I got very lucky, right? Just as I went to make the transfer, I logged on to Twitter just to see if there was any news. And literally like two or three minutes before I logged on, there was breaking news that the Villa versus Burnley game was off. So I obviously didn't make that transfer, got extremely lucky. I reset my phone alarm to make sure I didn't miss the now new deadline for the Arsenal game. And I brought in Lacazette instead. Now, obviously they scored four goals. He only got one assist. It was a bit fortunate, I would say. So five points is a little bit disappointed, but I guess he maybe could have not had the assist as well so we'll take it obviously Saka happy with Jota happy with as well Salah captain blank wasn't ideal but at the end of the day so many people are on him it doesn't really hurt you that much and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I was going to go for one of my defenders who all did really well like Cancelo might have been a vice captain option for me I think some people said on the deadline stream is Cancelo better than Foden as a vice captain I did say um, and I'm not trying to claim it right I wasn't expecting him to get 18 points but I did say I guess there's more chance that Cancelo plays because he was uh, completely out of the game before on suspension I didn't think that Foden was not going to play because he was being a naughty boy now whether or not he's back we'll discuss that in a minute but he obviously got zero points and I had no bench and so no one could come on so with Brownhill missing out I just had the nine players so to get 65 points and another green arrow I was really happy with that because I've gone from 190k in game week 15 to 78k so I've jumped 110,000 places in the last three game weeks so really happy with that things are going well there is a lot of chaos but with chaos brings opportunity uh, people will probably get sick of planning and stuff like that and I hope that I'll have a bit of an edge going forward so if we can get another couple of green arrows over Christmas when things are just crazy that would be really good so all those red arrows that we got it was like a slow death I've suddenly jumped straight back up the rankings. So I'm really happy with where I am. Last week was good. Let's talk about Spitch and then we'll see how we're looking for game week 19. So happy to say that I have partnered with Spitch for this video. If you haven't already seen them, they are a brand new fancy football app. If you get it downloaded now by clicking that link in the description below, you'll be one of the first people to get involved. And there's different competitions every single week. So you can see on the screen, you've got Premier League, Championship, EFL Cup, Bundesliga, whatever it takes your fancy. Obviously, you can imagine I concentrate on the Premier League and if i click into there you'll see there's kind of paid for events and free events as well so you do need to be 18 and over you do need to gamble responsibly there's begambleaware.org links in the description below if you want to check them out as well so once you download it, obviously you can choose whichever uh, game you want whichever cup competition etc we're going to concentrate on the premier league in this one and the one you want right there's some paid for events and some free events but for the boxing day event you want the free christmas one bottom left with a little santa emoji now i've put some of the prizes on screen there so you can see them but there's basically loads which is a free game just get it downloaded you can see that i'll scroll through them all so you've got e-scooter apple um, airpods football boots beat solo three wireless uh, headphones premier league flight football and the list kind of goes on fifa 22 netflix gift cards there's a huge list of prizes to be won so make sure you do check it out and get it downloaded once you're in the tournament you can just pick up your team i've already preloaded some of my players in there obviously i've taken out all the liverpool ones because the game is off uh, and then you can just literally select a player now there are some different 
points awarded for things like tackles, blocks, and interceptions like you wouldn't get in FPL. So that is why I've got some players in there like Rice, obviously Xhaka as well. They've both got pretty good fixtures so far this week. Um, but I'm going to put in the one and only against Newcastle. Bit of a rest as well. Hope the game doesn't get called off. Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm also going to stick with another Man United defender just because I love him. I'm going to put in Harry Maguire to my team too. And I've got one more defender to pick, which I think is going to be Cancelo because the guy is just so good and I expect him to play again. So it's really easy to get downloaded. It's really easy to set up and pick a team. It's just weekly, so you're not worrying about future weeks. You're just trying to pick the best team for this week. And my captain will almost certainly be Ronaldo. So if you want to give it a go, like I said, loads and loads of prizes on offer. Click that link in the description below and get downloaded now. All right, so I'm going to go through the team's normal defenders, midfielders, and forwards, and we'll talk about the important points as they come. I've just got one one free transfer this week and obviously got two free hits now so I could use my first one this week and then the second one after game week 20 whenever I feel like I need it so Ramsdale is obviously staying uh, we'll just deal with the easy stuff first Cancelo is obviously staying he's pretty much started every single game where he's not suspended Man City still have some pretty great fixtures coming up and as we saw last week he can be super attacking so he's definitely staying the Chelsea boys probably need to go soon there is a slot I'm going to try and talk about the double soon but there's a slight chance that they might double in game week 22 possibly i guess possibly game week 21 but i think it's mostly game week 22 if that happens it might be worth keeping them we'll have to wait and see what happens obviously we're still kind of in the dark about rearrangements but as i showed on the free hit video yesterday there is a likelihood to have a double game week in game week 22 for some teams and a small chance to have them in game week 21 as well definitely follow ben Crellin on twitter to keep up to date with that but with the chelsea defenders um Villa away, Brighton home are, are probably the last two good fixtures, and then they get pretty difficult. But if they had a double in 22, and bearing in mind the fixtures they've got to rearrange are Arsenal at home and Brighton away, then that would be tempting to keep them if I'm not then free hitting in game week 22. And that, I'm going to come on to that in a minute, right? Because because if we use the free hit this week, there might be less reason to use it in game week 22, right? And obviously we got two, so you could do both. But I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to use both of them in quick succession. So the Chelsea boys probably need to go soon. But Villa away, Brighton at home, really good. They're, they're pretty good, I would say, fixtures for defensive returns. Alonso did play the full game last night, which kind of puts me off a little bit. But the thing is, there's another break now till Boxing Day. Like, what, three full days rest? Um... So I'd say he's probably going to play again. Even if he didn't play in the Carabao Cup, it wasn't 100% certain he would play the next two games anyway. So there's such a quick turnaround. But at the end of the day, the, some players are going to have to play both of them. It could be Alonso, right? So I'm definitely keeping them. Then we come on to Trent Alexander-Arnold. So the Liverpool... Maybe I should have started with this, right? This is the big news. But Liverpool versus Leeds is confirmed as off. So is Watford versus Wolves. So Jimenez, uh, King, Dennis going to miss out again. Watford now have like three games to rearrange. They're getting in a very similar situation to Spurs. Um... But Trent's obviously got no game this week now. The thing is, it's very difficult to get rid of him because Leicester away is not too bad. I mean, Chelsea away could be tight, and then they've got good fixtures. Brentford at home, Palace away, Leicester at home, Burnley, Norwich. Like, you just don't want to get rid of Trent. So ideally, I'm either going to free hit him out or I'm going to put him on the bench, right? There's no two ways about it. So either way, Trent is staying in my team. I don't see a reason why I would get rid of him. But with the attackers, it's a little bit different. So let's talk about them. Okay, so this is where it turns into a little bit of a mess because Antonio is... Uh, yellow flagged on FPL because uh, he was confirmed as having COVID from David Moyes. Now, Moyes did say that he's double jabbed and he's not shown any symptoms and that they hope to have him back for Boxing Day or that they could have him back for Boxing Day. So he's not completely ruled out. And before all this mess, I was definitely planning on keeping him. And I don't really see a, a reason for me to kind of transfer him out. So the, the most that will happen is I'll either play him or I might use the free hit and just not have... Um, Antonio with uh, and with Foden Pepper's spoken today to say that he's going to clarify the situation with Foden and Grealish but he also said to the media I'm not going to clarify it with you so we're not quite sure where he stands but the thing is with Man City long term their fixtures are pretty good right Leicester at home Brentford away I don't think Foden and Grealish are going to be permanently out of the team right Arsenal away and Chelsea home is maybe a little bit more difficult but Southampton Brentford and Norwich are the kind of fixtures do you want to keep them for? Again, if you don't free hit in game week 22, it does mean you have to hold them for Chelsea at home, but it might not be the worst thing, especially if you happen to have 
cheap players on the bench that do get double game weeks, right? So I want to hold Foden. I've not really got any reason to get rid of him. With Saka and Lacazette, it's just too good of a fixture, really, to get rid of uh, either of those two this week. The, the Arsenal boys probably do need to go soon. Like, Wolves at home, and then they've got, like, Man City. I think it's Man City and then Spurs. Let's just pull it up again. Um... Here we go. So, yeah, Man City, then Spurs, and then Burnley, Wolves away again, which is not an easy fixture, to be honest, and then a blank. So this is really the last fixture where I really want to keep them. But I think having got Lacazette in, you probably need him for this week, right? Now comes on to Liverpool and whether you free hit this week or not. Now, there's a few things to think about, mostly with Salah, okay? So one is a lot of money. Two, he's going to African Cup of Nations soon, as long as that continues. And obviously, they do have Chelsea as well soon. So it's maybe not the most ideal fixture to captain him in. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that Salah can't score in any game that he plays. Because obviously, he can. He's done it lots and lots of times so far this season. He's only blanked twice, once against Burnley and once last week against uh, Spurs. So could he get something against Leicester in game week 20? Yes. Could he get something against Chelsea in game week 21? Yes. Is he going to be very heavily captained? Probably, right, when he's available. Uh, and there was rumours last night or a report, I think it was from Anfield Watch on uh, Twitter, saying that Salah's going to be allowed to play the, and obviously Mane as well, going to play the Chelsea game in 21. Then they'll go to African Cup of Nations, right? Um, so if you get rid of him, if you transfer him out then the most ideal player to bring in looks like probably Son. I mean, you could go to De Bruyne, maybe, if you don't already have Triple Man City. But I think Son becomes a captaincy option in game week 21 when they play Watford away instead of going for Chelsea, for Liverpool. I spoke about that a couple of game weeks ago. And I still think if I had Son, I would take the risk that he outscores Salah because of the fixture difference as well. Um, so the, ma the main thing if you do that is... You lose a bit of money. So for me, he's I've got I can sell him for twelve point eight million and he's thirteen point one. So 0 0.3 million I would have to pay to get him back, which I would want him back. But essentially, if Liverpool are blanking this week, which they are, right, it's confirmed, then the chances are their game will get moved to game week twenty two. Possibly, right? It's not Again, it's not confirmed, but we think because the FA Cup replays have been scrapped for rounds three and four, there should be double game weeks for the Premier League in game week 22. So their postponed fixture is Leeds at home, and the other fixture in game week 22 is Brentford at home. That's about as good as it gets. You're definitely going to want a captain Liverpool player. But the thing is, if, if African Cup of Nations goes ahead, and there, obviously there is always a chance, I guess, it gets postponed, but latest word is they want to go ahead with it. Salah's not going to be available for this game week anyway, right? So if you get rid of him this week, Leicester away is definitely the biggest issue because it's good fixture, I would say, for Salah and Liverpool. They would have had a lot of rest as well. Like, Salah didn't play in the Carabao Cup at all. Um, I, think you can, I think you can take a risk to get rid of him for Chelsea and then he's not going to play in game week 22 anyway and he could miss game week 23 as well. So you could get rid of him for potentially five game weeks if everything works out. And I'm not sitting here telling you it's not a risk because it absolutely is. But you could get rid of him for like five game weeks and realistically, Leicester away captaincy is the worst thing you're going to have to go through. Again, he could score against Chelsea, but I don't think anyone's expecting him to get like two or three goals in that game. You would probably bet against it. At least I would anyway. So game week 20... Then it depends who else you might want to captain that week, right? So Man City are playing Brentford if you wanted to risk going for whoever you think is going to play that game. Could even be Cancelo. Ronaldo, if you've got him against Burnley at home, obviously it is a quick turnaround. Would he play both games? They have had a lot of rest, so possibly he would. And if you've bought Spurs players, then they're playing against Southampton. So look, it's a risk, but you could sell Salah. And I would think about it. And if I got rid of him, I would probably get Son in. Because I think Spurs have got loads of games to rearrange. They've got good fixtures. He's a genuine captaincy opportunity uh, in game week 21. I think he probably is the best player to go to. Interestingly enough, I can afford to do Salah to Son. I'll just put it in here just to show you. Um, where is he? Son. And then I've got 4.4 million in the bank. So I can actually afford Lacazette straight to Ronaldo. So I'd have Son against uh, Crystal Palace this week at home. And I'd have Ronaldo against Newcastle. But it means taking a hit to get rid of Lacazette, who's got Norwich. And I've already been stung once by taking a player out against Norwich. 
I don't think it's a good thing to do necessarily. Um, but having these two players for the next few weeks is pretty good. The only problem is I would have to bench King, Jota and Trent because they've none of them have got games. So I'd have to play Livermento against West Ham. I'm also hoping that Antonio plays against Southampton. So it is a bit of a risk. And also hoping that Foden gets back in the team as well. So there are kind of issues with doing that. Obviously, the other option is just to keep Lacazette, right? And just, just do Salah to Son for free. And just play Lacazette against Norwich instead of having Ronaldo against Newcastle. Because I think if I, because Liverpool aren't on this week, a lot of people are going to captain Ronaldo. I think he probably is the next best option. But I don't think Spurs at home to Crystal Palace is that bad either. I mean, I've got to be honest, if I if I had a straight up choice, I probably would captain Ronaldo. Um, but I don't think Son's a bad choice. So that's the, that's the transfer option, right? Now, the other option is free hit. Now, the reason you might want to free hit this week, if you can, is because, like I said, because uh, Liverpool are blanking now this week, they sh hopefully will, not guaranteed, but hopefully will double in game week 22. So straight away, you've got those good fixtures. You get to keep Trent. You get to keep Jota because you'll have them back next week. And you just hope that Watford don't miss any more games, that Antonio is back fit for the next game. Obviously, they've got a pretty good fixture after Southampton, which is Watford away. And they've got Leeds at home as well soon. So you probably want him for that anyway. So free hit might be the best option, especially if another game gets called off, right? There probably is a point where so many games get called off that you don't go for it. But right now, it does look like possibly the best option because those Liverpool players you will want back. Now, the interesting thing is, there's obviously a lot of good fixtures in, uh, sorry, in game week 19. Like, Man United against Newcastle is pretty good. Arsenal against Norwich. Spurs against Palace. There's a lot of teams to go for. And it could be quite an opportunity to get ahead because although... As always, there will be a template that forms. I'm sure most people will have at least one of Son or Kane. Most people will have Ronaldo. There's a lot of other different ways you could play it. So right now, if you had to ask me what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to free hit in the hope that my team will be good enough to go through game week 22 without a free hit or a wild card. So I can just use transfers to build up to it. That is my hope. Uh, and also, I just don't know if I want to go through Leicester away without Salah. But the thing is, I, I may, even if I keep Salah, I may still do that Salah to Son transfer in game week 21 anyway. So it depends how risky I want to play. Um, how risky I want to play in game week 20 when I don't have Salah, when everyone captains him against Leicester. Bearing in mind, he would have had a lot of rest and Liverpool have looked ridiculous this year already. Uh, so that's my only worry. So that's where I stand right now. I'm going to go through a quick free hit team, but I will say this news and stuff like that, and the time I'm recording this video, it's all quite fresh. Right? I haven't given it a huge amount of thought, but I think there's enough good fixtures to put something together now. So I'm going to do that. So as I was saying just yesterday, I'm really glad that FPL have given everyone a free hit chip. Great decision. Uh, I'm sure they saw this coming. Few postponements, happy days. I was really happy with it, as you would have seen yesterday, right? So, the, like I said, I, I'm not giving this a huge amount of thought. I'm going to look at the fixtures and just build a team how I could go about it. Obviously, I think the key fixtures, like I just said, are Spurs Palace, uh, Man United Newcastle, Arsenal versus Norwich, and would never discount kind of Man City versus Leicester. But West Ham versus Southampton also isn't bad. And to be honest, neither is Chelsea versus Aston Villa. I actually think one of the... Um, probably issues with free hit this week is actually deciding bearing in mind the deadline's not that far away it's over christmas for people that are kind of celebrating and doing stuff you probably don't want to think about fpl so for some people they think that free hit is like a get out like well, i don't have to think about it. i'll just do a free hit team but i actually think it's going to be pretty difficult because do you really ditch like reese james and marcus alonso versus villa to get like regulon versus crystal palace or do you double up on man city defense it's actually pretty difficult right but let's go for the obvious players first i think ronaldo definitely goes in I think you have to probably have a Arsenal attacker, and right now it would probably be Martinelli over Saka. Um, you could also you you definitely want a bench if you're going to free hit. You would not like tank your bench. You would definitely put good players on the bench as well. And I think you have to have one of um, Son or Kane. You could have both for sure, but let's just try and build it for now. So one of those in. I think Man City versus Leicester is really tough because they could get a good few goals there. But who's going to start? De Bruyne, Sterling, Mares again. Is Foden going to get back in? It's hard to say, but I probably wouldn't want to go without. Cancelo even though obviously everyone owns him anyway so I put Cancelo back in um I think for Man United it's, it's tough because it's a way like I'd love to get Harry Maguire but that's just like me being biased towards Harry Maguire I think I would probably have 
a Spurs defender. Um, possibly Regulon. Interestingly, you could possibly go for Loris instead. We'll have to come up with a goalkeeper in a minute. Uh, I'm going to actually put Harry Kane in. We're going to go for triple Spurs just for now. Um, then back to the back to the fixtures. Yeah, it's, this is really tough. Man City versus Leicester. I actually think Tierney could be good against um, against Norwich as well. So we got three defenders so far, two midfielders, two up front. I think someone like. Um, Broyer, who I mentioned obviously for Spitch as well, is only 5.1. So he's probably a good bench option as well. And then we need midfielders. And this is where it gets tricky. I think you do probably want a Man City one. And I do wonder if it's worth taking a punt on a Man United one as well against Newcastle. Because they are such a poor defence. Someone like Rashford or Sancho. Uh, and then we'll put in a Man City midfielder as well. Let's go for... I'm going to stick with Foden. I just think he gets back in. It is risky, but I would definitely have a bench. So there you've got your three... 4-3. But there's no Chelsea players in there. He's still got 23.1 million. Um, goalkeeper's tough, actually. Because you could go David De Gea, for sure, against Newcastle. Because uh, I haven't got another Man United defender in there. Could be Mendy against Villa. I think Lloris is an option if you don't already triple up elsewhere. And obviously Ramsdale's an option as well. I guess Edison might be kind of the safest Man City defender this week outside of Cancelo. I'm going to I'm gonna go for David De Gea think for now anyway look this isn't locked in or anything like that you probably could go for a sub goalkeeper i'm actually just going to keep ramsdale i bet i can afford it uh in midfield uh sorry in defense also i'd probably put in lamptey because they've got brentford at home and he's only 4.5 million and now it's going to get pretty tricky to put anyone else in let's just put liveramento in because he's cheap and obviously, I got him a bit cheaper. And we've only got 4.4 million to spend on a defender, uh, on a midfielder. To be honest, I would possibly... I'm just going to put anyone in for now. I'll put Brownhill in. I would probably cheapen out one of the Kane or Son spots. Probably Kane to get a few more extra players in. I just think when you're free hitting in a week like this, where games could get called off after the deadline, it's probably worth having a better bench. Um, but I think having two goalkeepers, triple spurs... Triple Man United, maybe De Gea, Rashford, Ronaldo could be decent. Something like that. I've got to be honest, I don't know if the finished article will look exactly like that. But looking at the fixtures, that's probably where I'd want to target. If there's any issues here, I think there's no Chelsea. That could definitely be a mistake. There's no West Ham. That could be a mistake as well. I think Bowen's a really good option. Antonio, if he's fit to play as well. And obviously, Triple... Triple Man City is definitely something you could do if you were brave enough. Maybe put like a Mares, a Jesus, or a Sterling in there. Maybe even a Grealish if you think he gets back in as well, um, which could be a nice double up. But I think Arsenal, like someone like Martinez, is just even if you took out Kane and went for like Antonio and beefed up Brownhill to someone else, I still keep Martinelli in there as even like a squad player because it's such a good fixture and it's worth having a bench. That's just initial thoughts, right? Let me know what you hate about that team and what you're going to do instead. But free hits definitely on the cards. I do think Salah to Son could be just the, the way to kind of fix the team and just leave the rest because I think it's probably not worth taking a huge amount of hits in a week where we're not quite sure how many more games are going to get postponed that could happen after the deadline. But that's my initial thoughts. I think Salah, there are risks to getting rid of him. If you don't want to do it just yet, then it's probably free hit time because those Ch those Liverpool players will have a double game, even if Salah doesn't. Something like that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So there we go. Let me know what you think about all that. I do think that free hit versus just transferring out Salah is a pretty big decision this week. I don't think it's as obvious as it might look. I'm sure a lot of people will say free hit, free hit. You can't go without Salah against Leicester, but it's probably a bit closer than that. So do let me know in the comments below, like I just said, what your thoughts are about my free hit team, about your thoughts for this week. Do give the video a like if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out Spitch if you haven't already done so. There is a link in the description below. Get it downloaded and sign up for the free game and just see what prizes you can win. I will leave it there. I may or may not be back tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what's going on at this point because it's just chaos, to be honest. Uh, and I have had to record this like three times. So we might try and put something out around kind of game week preview or a free hit video or something like that. Let me know what you want in the comments below. If I don't see you beforehand, have a good Christmas. I'll be back on Boxing Day for the deadline stream, of course, either way. So who knows? We might have a couple of videos over the next couple of days. Let's see what happens. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.